Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Capricorn, I just want to say um, thank you. Thank you very much for all of your support. If you read my community posts in the last few days, you realize I was struggling a little bit, but I want you all to know that I am very grateful for your kind words, love and support. So thank you. You all moved me to uh, happy tears and uh, I am thankful and grateful to the universe for all of you. Thank you. It's hard to not ball crying, so I'm just going to get on with the reading. Capricorn, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks. But Patreon would probably be the best price. Right, Capricorn, what do you need to know about love? What does Capricorn need to know about love? Of the deck, eight of wands in reverse. So the overall vibe that we've got here is judgment in reverse, crossed by the Knight of Swords. I, what's coming to me is that this is about your new beginning. Sorry, that's my washing machine. Nope. My dishwasher. It's being very noisy. Sorry, guys. So, this is about that new beginning that you wanted to have. You know, you're waiting for it. You've been through all the the pain, the crap. You've been through it. You have been through the mill, mate. You have been through it. You are ready now. You have picked yourself up and you have dusted yourself off. Oh, I'm running out of batteries. <laughs> You've picked yourself up and dusted yourself off. And... Yeah, we're all switched on. <laughs> you're ready to go now. You are ready to take some action. You're done with this. You're, you're done waiting. You're ready for the good stuff to come. I'm sorry, my dishwasher is very noisy. You're ready for the good stuff to come now. You're ready to reassert balance. You're gonna reassert it. It's not gonna reassert. You you want you you're like oh, we're we're taking action because things aren't moving on their own. I'm ready for those scales to go and balance. What does Capricorn need to know right now? You're not going to have to wait much longer, my love. There is a little something. There is a little bit of something that you need to let go of. What is it? Talk to me. I know you, you're thinking that, no, 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 we're ready to go. We're all good. What are you holding on to? Ah, uh, yes, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, there it is. That's that little thing that you're like, oh, yeah, and uh, what is it? Like a soulmate, karmic, twin flame, something like that. 
You're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I've let it go. I've let it go. Have you? No, 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 I'm fine. I've let it go. I've totally let it go. You'll know I'm a tarot reader, right? You'll know I'm feeling the vibes that that's all BS, right? When you... Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna get into the advice portion of today's show. I think that you feel like you're getting to that point where you, you yeah, all right, Jen, all right, yeah, I don't know, I'm I'm letting it go, I'm all right, I'm good. It's still it's still got its hooks in you a little bit. There's still a little bit further you have to push. What I want to say is, don't retreat back. So you're in a good place now. If this is a twin flame connection, you're at that place. You're like, I'm good. Totally forgotten about them. Did I even love them at all? Ha! Huh. You can slip back. Okay. I am um, on the twin flame journey myself. I have been there at that point where I'm like, <laughs> don't even think about him anymore. Doesn't even cross my mind. And I can wake up one day and be like, uh, I, the yearning comes back out of nowhere. And you're like, I wasn't even thinking about them. So what I want to do, what I want to say here is if or when that happens, don't repeat old patterns. Don't be looking over old messages that they sent you. Don't be looking at photos or videos of them. Don't be looking at their social media. Do you wake up with that? Don't be going down that road of having a little fantasy about what if. It's just a little fantasy. I could just have a little fantasy about what I'll do when I see them again. Don't let it slide. Catch yourself before you repeat that pattern. You're like, nah, nah, but, but, but. do the work you need to do. You gotta meditate. You gotta meditate. You gotta do some cord cutting. Do some cord cutting. Do whatever you gotta do. Just a fantasy. No. Just a sneaky look at them. No, no sneaky looks at the social media. Not even, not even one picture. to help yourself get past this then you can move forwards <laughs> you're just always going to be waiting if you keep going down that path You can't be in union with this person while you yearn for them, while you think about them, while you're checking them out. There can be no union within yourself. There can be no union f like at all with them. So do yourself a favor. It's not about them being with them, okay? Do yourself a favor and don't slip back into that pattern. Because you were good, right? You were good when you'd forgotten about them. How much did you get done? You were getting on with things? Were you sleeping good? You were sleeping good, weren't you? Sleep was just... Anything else you need to know right now? It's it's kind of saying exactly what I've just been saying. Like, there's no... I can't pick the cards up because I 
cut my fingernails yesterday. There's no future, no uh, can't think of the right word at the moment there is none of that if you keep the uh the pattern of yearning and wishing and wanting and hoping it's just a, a forever cycle and uh you need to set yourself some boundaries here This isn't even about setting them with anyone else. This is about you setting boundaries with you. Be like, nah, mate. No, no. But just, I just want to check their social media a little bit. Put the phone down. Put it down. Put yourself post-its around saying no. People be like, why is that saying no? So none of your business. I know what it means. Nuh uh. I've just seen 11 11 on the clock there. Little post it's just, just for you. Don't do it. Stop. Especially like in places where, like, you know, when, when you wake up in bed in the morning and post it next to the wall. Nope. Okay, I won't look at them. In the bathroom. I'll say no more. I know I'm not the only one who sits there scrolling. You gotta set yourself some boundaries and mean them because you are not gonna move forwards and you are ready to take some action and move forwards. So take that action and set yourself some boundaries. What's coming up in the near future? Oh, oh really? Manifesting something in, are you? Let's have a look at that, shall we? What are you manifesting in? That's fascinating. So this is a twin flame connection. Fascinating. So this is this is how this person's made you feel. Three of Swords, right? How Three of Swords do you feel when you think about them? You don't want to be back there. Like this is the whole thing. This is you. Here is my love. Divine Masculine, this is them going, oh god, I don't know. What's, what's over the other side of the hill there? Grass greener? <laughs> Got the ivy growing over them. They're wasting time. This is you. You're letting it go. You're dealing with it. And in letting it go, in dealing with it, in not repeating your patterns and setting yourself some boundaries, you are manifesting. Nights. What are nights about, eh? What was that? Communication? Travel? Taking action and moving forwards, charging on in, going for it. That's the best you can hope for. Only if you set yourself some boundaries and freaking mean them. Hang on a minute. I just wanted to see what time it was and it started making noises at me. <laughs> what does it mean? Me and my friend, my neighbour, we sit on our doorstep and drink tea and gossip. I have a little bit of gossip. Yeah, I do. You want to hear it? Well, well, let's get on with the... We'll get on with the reading. Yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll get on with the reading. You want to hear the gossip? 
No, they, 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 there's some people who don't want to hear it. There's some people who don't want to hear it. All right, you, you're twisting my arm here, guys. You're twisting my arm here. Right? I went on a date yesterday, okay? I went on a date yesterday. It was nice. I uh, got sort of a bit of a snog out of it. Not really, kind of, sort of. But then we both decided there were no sparks. It was like, it was nice, but I don't see myself being in a relationship with you. It was nice. Any more, you want any more goths? Let me know in the comments below. There's nothing really much more to tell. I've kind of gone into it. Uh, so you, you're, I see you. If you're following my advice right now, you're following my advice, you're getting balanced into that healthy place where you can actually have oh yeah releasing fear good getting into that place where you can have a healthy relationship oh that's good so divine feminine is balancing things out divine masculine on the other hand things aren't going so well for them I'm going to read this outcome. It's going to be my final words of wisdom for the day. And then I'm going to take it into the extended where I'm going to ask about your twin flame. I'm going to ask, how do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. I would suggest you don't watch it because you don't need that smack your veins and get that twin flame drugs going you don't need it i'm gonna do it but you don't need it so don't watch it because i'm gonna give you my final words of wisdom here i'm gonna do it for those who like can't resist but let's just say that you are releasing those patterns and you're not going to watch it This is the outcome. Look at you there, all trapped, all tied up in that twin flame connection. That's toilet paper wrapping you up. There's a rope. Those swords you can slip out of there. This is a prison of your own making. You are keeping yourself here, okay? You are keeping yourself in this cycle of pain don't let yourself go through it release yourself set yourself some boundaries seriously and when you do oh for god's sakes i'm like i don't even want to tell you i don't even want to tell you because you don't need to hear this. I'm trying to tell you to release it. Stop thinking about it. When you do, I'll just... Everything's going to be cool, okay? Just... I'm not going to go into it. Because I don't want you to think about it. Just... Anyone who knows anything about cards, alright? Just... Okay. All right. Okay. We'll not, we'll not, we'll not say anymore. I'll let you look those up. Cause it's on you. It's not on me. All right. I'm telling you to let them go. I'm telling you to walk away from this. Don't look at them. Cause if you do that and you set yourself some boundaries, Okay. Okay. It's 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 not on me if you look at what those cards mean and you don't know. All right, it's not on me. Oh, wrong deck, wrong deck. Hang on. Let's pull you an oracle card. 
I'm going to make you an extended now and you're not going to watch it because you're going to behave yourselves and get off the twin flame journey right now. Let them go. Oh, gold. I dropped a card. I dropped about 50 card things. It's upside down. A new start is coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love reading tarot. It's so much fun. I love my job. Okay, your song of the day. It was just throwing itself out. That's hilarious. Two cards came out. It fell on the floor. Same song. Written by me. I'm going to put up in one of these corners here right now a link to the playlist that this song is on. It's called Good Enough by Me. Uh, I'll just listen to it. Okay. You are good enough. Let's put it that way. Don't ever let anyone, not even yourself, make you think that you are not good enough. Because you are. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you later.